Alright, welcome back to Resident Evil Zero. In this video, we are going to have one hell of a challenge in front of us. Billy has fairly low health right now, and he is about to go fight a boss. A fairly annoying boss, too. So we're gonna hope that the shotgun shells that we have and the grenade launcher rounds that we have are going to be enough to carry us through this quite annoying fight. So this is the Infected Bat. I don't think- I think that's literally just its name. Uh, this is a fine boss if it was just the bat itself, because you can hit it pretty easily. Uh, if you get really lucky, because in my practice I was able to stun lock it, basically. You can stun lock this guy very easily, but the reason that this fight is annoying is that there are these little bats, which basically mean as soon as you press the aim button, you're going to auto-aim to one of the smaller bats instead of the big bat. They don't do a ton of damage, but it will eventually whittle away your health. So, it's just, it's really genuinely annoying that you keep auto-locking to the small bats when all you want to do is hit the big one. So, that could have gone better, but hey, it also could have gone worse. We are now in danger. Basically, if Billy sneezes, he might die. But we're gonna just reunite these two characters. In the last video, I picked up the hookshot, which we can now use to get to a brand new area. Because the infected bat opened up a little pathway for us. This part of the game is pretty cool. It's not very long, and I feel like it's fairly memorable. So, I, I quite like this part. It it's... I'm not going to say smooth sailing, because I had to redo a lot of this. This last portion of the game has definitely been one of the most taxing to record. And I don't know if it's intentional or not, or if it's just an accident, or what, but the song that plays in this area sounds so much like the main hall of Resident Evil 2, with the dun 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 It just sounds so much like that, that I, I really don't- I'm really not sure if it was intentional or not. So, we're gonna try and heal Billy as soon as possible. Because, as I said, just a gust of wind, a, a slight breeze, could kill Billy at this point. I think right now what I'm doing is I am going back for the ink ribbons. Well, technically I'm going back for the a grenade launcher rounds. And then I'm also going to go back for the ink ribbons, just because... It's good to take as many ink ribbons as you can with you, but ev basically every time I do this, there's no point. These ink ribbons are not coming with me for the rest of the game, I can tell you that already. So yeah, I forgot that I was just like, I can just combine those all into my grenade launcher and then just go back and pick up the ink ribbons. Well, uh, a good majority of this video is going to be inventory stuff, specifically towards the end, so look forward to that. I think every year that I play this game, I hate the inventory thing a little bit more. And I, th I really do think it's that some things, when you're younger, do not matter. Like, oh, I've got all the time in the world to play this game, I'll just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to different areas. Whereas when I'm an adult, I'm like, I don't- I have like a limited amount of time to play this game. I can't spend all night going 
from the chapel to the training facility to the chapel to the training facility and move items all over the place. So... I think every time that I play this game now, I hate the inventory system more and more. Again, I still really like this game, but there are some decisions that they made in this game that are just... baffling. So, our two heroes are going to split up once again in this section. You can send either character to either place, but I would suggest putting Rebecca up top. Because we're going to switch uh, to a floor above us. And I would suggest doing that with, um, with Rebecca. We're going to just clear some space because both characters do need to be able to pick stuff up. We're gonna just combine these ink ribbons. Just please pick them up, Billy. Thank you. Again, if he, like, stubbed his toe on that table, he'd probably just die. Probably just keel over right then and there. The song that plays in this area, the, all the music in this part of the game is absolutely fantastic. And some of my favorite songs in the entire game. This is just kind of explaining a puzzle that'll happen later on. And yet again, there's a very conveniently placed hole in the in the ceiling that we can climb on through. So in this room, there's an enemy in here that we're not quite equipped to, to deal with, so I would say grab the fuel container here and then run out of this room. Because there is a Mimicry Marcus in there. And yeah, those are not the Leechmen. Uh, the Leechmen is like a completely different enemy. I always said I got them confused, but that guy is a Mimicry Marcus. So in this door right here, there's a lot of goodies that we can pick up. Which is why I would suggest running away from the Mimicry Marcus first. Because there's actually more fuel in here. Which is truly something that you love to see, folks. And then also in here, there is a green herb. Which we can use to combine with the red herb, obviously. And then perhaps we can find a way to get that herb to Billy. But that's not it. In this area there's also a empty bottle which will give you three Molotovs when you combine it with the fuel. So now we can actually go deal with that Mimicry Marcus. I would say this is one of the reasons that you would want to send Rebecca to deal with the Mimicry Marcus because now I have confirmed that her arc with the Molotovs is indeed faster than Billy's. Because, um, actually, maybe, yeah, in this video we're actually going to see Billy throw a Molotov. And you'll see that it's much slower with Billy. So just get over here and start tossing these bad boys. That was really annoying. I really didn't want to get hit there. Sometimes the, the Marcuses attack you, sometimes they don't. I really don't know what the deal with that is very annoying. There's actually also some more bottles here. So if you were really ballsy with it, if you were a better Resident Evil player than I, you probably could have gotten both ingredients in this room, combined them, and finished this guy off, but I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. So we're gonna leave that, because as far as I know, to my knowledge, there are no other empty bottles in this area. So we're gonna just forget about that. I also made a mistake here. I got too caught up in leaving the gas canister behind. I forgot to pick up the actual important item that's in that room. So we're going to have to come back here eventually. <laughs> Which is very, very stupid of, of me to do. So, in here, you can actually see very quickly that guy moved his head. So that guy is faking it. He's a big old faking faker. Basically what they want you to do is see that note on the table, walk over to it, and that guy's gonna grab you. 
So this is actually a solution to a puzzle. You're going to have to remember this for later on. There are certain numbers or portions of this diary that are highlighted a different color. So something we set up a very long time ago in one of the uh, rooms that we got to in the basement of the training facility was a like green powder or something like that. There's a red version here. You're going to want to put that into your mixing set and then combine the two, which is nice. And this is where I forgot that I didn't pick up the item. However, as soon as you do that, there's a zombie in Billy's room that's going to come alive. And I had to redo this entire recording because I still had Billy set to idle and he died <laughs> I was so like I don't think I've been more mad recording something because it was going really well I was doing a really good job I didn't take as much damage to the bat but yeah maybe I'll put that in at the end as a little uh, little extra scene there I was so mad if this was live commentary you would have literally heard me like screech like a like a bat like a pterodactyl so in here is the item that we actually needed to grab. And what we want to do with that is combine it with the mixing set, with, with whatever we just made in the mixing set. And that will give us a blue gem, which Rebecca can't actually do anything with. So again, we're going to have to try and find a way to get that to Billy. But first, while I'm over here, it's not that big of a deal that I had to come back over here. Because I would have had to come over here anyway and flip this switch over here. Which will unfortunately put a Mimicry Marcus in Billy's path. So again, if only there was some way to pass those Molotov cocktails over to him. But alas, there does not appear to be a way to do that. So there's like three zombies in here. This just shows how absolutely fantastic Ow! Rebecca's new gun is. And I, I practiced this part about three different times separately. And uh, uh, Rebecca didn't get hurt a single one. So... I, there really is such a thing as a Let's Play curse, I swear to God. We're gonna see that. That that has been... This has been the most Let's Play curse game I've ever played, I think. I don't think there has been one that has been a more cursed playthrough than this. If only we could get Billy some health. Weird. At least we can heal Rebecca. Because, again, that is a very important thing to do. But this thing on the wall here is going to be like the dumbwaiter on the train. It's going to allow us to ferry items back and forth between Billy and Rebecca. The first thing we're going to want to send over there is a first aid spray. Because Billy, Billy ain't doing so good. Now, this does take way too long, I will say that. This is absolutely annoying to do. I wish that this animation didn't play every single time. Because not only does it play every single time, it plays also, you know, at the end to where it has to close back up. I wish that you could just touch this thing, select an item, switch to the other character, grab it, instead of having to Select it, have it open, select an item, it closes. Then there's a little animation of it being sent down. Then you have to switch to the other character, select it, watch an animation, get the item, and then it closes. There's no reason for that. It should just be a simple little transaction between the two characters it really shouldn't be it shouldn't be this annoying 
And I was thinking of, like, speeding up this footage just to be like, look, you don't need to see this, but you actually absolutely need to see this, because if I had to see it, you have to see it. This is the Resident Evil Zero experience. So now we're going to go back, because in the previous room where the guy was playing dead, there is actually a case of shotgun shells that we can send down to Billy. As he doesn't really have any other useful weapons on him anymore, it'd probably be good to get him as many shotgun shells as possible. So this is, I really do feel like this is the perfect fall game. Whenever I think of fall, honestly, this game always pops into my head. I, I always just have great memories of playing this game in the middle of the day, which is normally it's not something I do. Um, you know, a nice fall day, it's orange out. You just put some blankets on, some nice warm blankets. You make yourself a nice hot cup of hot cocoa. And then you just throw on Resident Evil Zero. I have so many good memories of just doing that. It's the perfect fall game. I don't know why this one specifically. I can play any of the Resident Evil games at any time of year easily, but this one I always find myself playing around fall. Just kind of like how I always find myself playing the original Dead Rising around Christmas. I don't, I don't quite know why that is. It just feels better played in that time. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But we are going to leave this room, which is going to lead us right in the direction of that mimicry, Marcus. I don't know why you're hearing my voice get worse in real time. I don't know what's going on here. So this guy, you're going to want to just kind of smash him. You can see Billy has much more of a wind-up and a wind-down on that animation. And that was annoying. That was very, very frustrating that that happened. Because again, guess what? Out of all the times I practiced this, guess what never happened even once? Yeah, Billy never got grabbed by that guy. Um, just making sure he is still in fine. Uh, but the good thing is that there's two herbs over here. I've never pronounced an herb as herb before, but I just did that time. I don't know what's happening. My brain is like falling apart. So, this little gem that Rebecca sent down can be used to unlock this door. This is a very Resident Evil puzzle. Like, there's no reason for this. Could've just sent down a key. No, you need like a leech charm. So, in this room, there's a couple nice items that we need. This one is kind of a long-term item. We don't really need this right now. But there's also a picture in here. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son. Or grandson. The way that that cutscene happens, it really does look like Billy's gonna say, like, I don't know how to read. It just looked like the framing of the shot and everything just made it look like a comedy, like a comedy scene. Like, Billy was just gonna look into the camera and go, I don't know how to read. So, we can ferry those up to Rebecca later. I'm, like, literally losing my voice in real time. I don't know what's going on. I do usually get sick around this time of year. I get the flu every single year around October or November. The first year so far that that did not happen was 2020, and I'm 100% going to say it's because of the face masks. Also because I wasn't around people as much, but I'm going to say the face mask works, and even after COVID, we should keep wearing face masks. So, that's really all we need. I probably could have went into that room, grabbed that, and left. Probably. But I didn't really lose that many shells. So, I don't feel too bad about it. If I had gotten hit, maybe I, I would be singing a different tune. See, I, I quite like this part of the game. It's simple, it's small, 
It's contained. It's kind of like the train. The train is the best part of the game. The inventory stuff isn't bad because it's a smaller area. I think this game should have been a series of chunks of, like, smaller areas. Because those are the most, um, like, pleasant to play through, I would have to say, of this entire game. So far, I, I really disliked the playing through the uh, training facility this time, because I had the galaxy brain so much shit, and the item management was just not fun. This part of the game was the, the, the most fun I've had since the train, for sure. And it's just a cool area, it's got great music. So, we're gonna send some more stuff up to Rebecca right now. This is basically the, the rest of this video, is just kind of the inventory stuff. We're gonna send up that gem, because now there's a door Rebecca needs to go through. If you had sent Billy upstairs instead, I think there is still a way that you can mix the, uh, like the mixing set stuff. I think you just have to work a little harder for it, which is another reason that I would suggest bringing Rebecca up top. So, right now, we're gonna grab some ink ribbons if Billy wants to. There he goes. And we are going to save and end the video. So, this part of the game is going quite well so far. In the next video, there's gonna be some more difficult sections. So, look forward to that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.